former President Trump has just two days to pay the $454 million judgment against him. And New York's Attorney General Letitia James wants to seize his properties to pay for it, including Trump Tower. Fox News correspondent C.B. Cotton has the update from New York City tonight. Former President Donald Trump's legal team has asked the court to waive the bond entirely while he appeals a civil fraud judgment against him. There's no ruling yet on Trump's request, but Trump is vowing to fight the judgment through the court system, telling Fox Digital, quote, I'll fight this all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court if necessary. And despite Trump's lawyers telling the court that Trump does not have the cash on hand to secure the bond, Trump claimed to Fox Digital he does have the cash, but said, quote, that doesn't mean I'm going to give money to a rogue and incompetent judge, the puppet of a corrupt attorney general, end quote. The New York Attorney General's office gave the court a series of suggestions as to how Trump could get the bond to include a fire sale of Trump's properties. Trump's lawyers pushed back on all the ideas and said a fire sale would cause irreparable harm because Trump couldn't get those properties back if he wins parts of his appeal. In the meantime, New York Attorney General Letitia James has taken some initial steps to seize some of Trump's properties. She registered the civil fraud judgment in Westchester County, home to a Trump golf course and an estate. This procedural step would allow the state to place a lien or move to foreclose on those properties in the future. In the meantime, there could be a new cash flow on the horizon for former President Trump. His social media company has been approved to go public and Trump's stake could net him three billion or more. But legal experts are doubtful the board of the company would waive the six month lockup on Trump's shares. While we wait to see whether Trump secures the bond come Monday, that same day, a judge could set a new date for Trump's New York hush money case. Back to you. Well, thank you, TV. This is one of the most disgusting stories. I'm sure there are liberals out there, Trump haters, who kind of giggle and think, oh, isn't this funny? Yeah. But this is not justice in America. There, there was no crime there. Listen to Frank Luntz um, and his political analysis of what's going on here. I want you to remember this moment, and don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. I, I think there's a lot of truth in what Frank Luntz is saying. You see the graphic there of the different properties, but you got to ask yourself, what was the crime? What was the crime? What did, what did Donald Trump do other than be Donald Trump and be the, the president of the United States? under or overvalue his properties, a, a crime of which nobody else has ever been prosecuted. And, and the ridiculous notion that mar lago is only worth $18 million. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this, there are no victims in this. Even the banks that were involved in this said there was no problem. So, Joe, what's your take on this? This is a murder without a body, right? To your point, there is no victim here. He paid back the loans. The banks didn't come That's forth and say, hey, he, he fooled us, and now we want to want to take him to court. This is Letitia James, what she ran on. You see it on video before she was even elected. We're going to get Trump. For what? Oh, you know, we'll find something at some point. If Letitia James actually goes ahead with this, starts seizing Trump assets, starts padlocking doors, starts walking workers out of golf courses or out of uh, Trump Tower, Frank Luntz, I don't agree with him terribly often, but is 100% right. You just clinched Joe, uh, uh, Donald Trump's election in 2024. To your point, the MSNBC and CNN audience, which is basically friends and relatives at this point, they can cheer this on. But to Americans in those key swing states like Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, Arizona, North Carolina, Georgia, they watch this and they say, we're a country with serious problems and we need serious people to solve them. And what Democrats are doing here is a whole bowl of wrong. Anita, what's your take on this? I mean, if there's no victim, even the bank's not complaining about it. They got paid back in full. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think, again, to the video, just if this happens, you know, and this is on video, this is going to be on every campaign commercial. Everyone's going to see it. Uh, there could be people who lose their jobs, to, to your point. Um, and he's going to talk about it and talk about it, talk about it in the debates. You know, we're never going to hear the end of it. And to Frank Luntz's point, yeah, he's going to make himself a victim, because in this case, a lot of people will agree he is a victim. Let's listen to Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, and his take on it. <laughs> Nothing to do with Donald Trump. This is the essence 
of what makes the American brand the number one economy on earth. You want to bring $3 billion to build a data center in America, which I'm going to go and raise next week all around the world? The number one question I have when I go to these countries to try and raise this capital is, what the hell is going on in New York? It's, and I tell them it's not America. It, it's just an anomaly. I swear to you, everybody, this is not America. Doesn't, doesn't feel like America, Julie. No, and it's purely political, and the, the liberal AGs in this country, honestly, are just, like, mucking it up even worse. And quite frankly, there is no coincidence that he had a short period of time to come up with this money, but to come up with half a billion dollars, days. I mean, that's ridiculous, okay? And not only that, he has appealed, but of course that appeal could take a while. We don't know how long. He even appealed, okay, let me pay $100 million. I don't have $500 million, believe it or not, in cash lying around. He did have money that he, he does have reserved for the campaign, and he has every right to, but those are campaign contributions. He can't use that money to pay off Letitia James. So she she, he needs more time to come up with the money. It's absolutely ridiculous. And she's yeah. running on social media, by the way, and doing end zone dances around, here's the interest that Donald Trump has to pay every day, $114,000. No, she, she's, she's handling this she, horribly. And, yeah. and she started with, hey, I'm going to prosecute this person, then go find the crime instead of following the crimes. And right. it's fundamentally wrong. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.